Before we begin this particular dubbing, uh, the section, I would just want to <clears throat> give you a few words of warning. There's a comic related to the Nanoa franchise made by Dojin artist Noah Mayu, which is called Fake. I am warning you right off the top. I mean, right off the bat, my apologies to avoid it at all costs. Don't bother to search it. Don't bother to download it. Don't bother to even look at it. All I can tell you, and safely for sure, is that it's a major-ass cross with Nanawa, a typical hentai, and possibly, poss both of them possibly drawn out by the same guy who did Helsing. It's like a combination of those. In the worst possible way you can ever, ever imagine. You will not like it. You will not exactly be turned on by it. You'll find this kind of repulsive, sick, and demented. And you, if you downloaded this, you will wish you would down... You wish you even wasted your time. So, with that out of the way, why don't we begin... I'm sorry. It's just that the comic was that was that terrible. Oh well. Anyways, on to Magical Cool Lyrical Nano. The movie first, Nano Fate Side. New calendar year 78. Autumn. There is this from time to time, but for the general populace, there's a feeling of peace. There was a talk in a certain world. A movie was being made at the time. Fate and Anna were young, so Faith and the others wanted to take part as much as possible. And since Faye was busy, I, Arv, decided to take her place, modeling for photos, singing and dancing and rehearsing for the roles. When the movie was near complete, Faye and I even needed to go to the studios in the neighboring towns for meetings about the new songs. Ah, it's hard being a star like me. <laughs> Arv, get up! We gotta get going! Ariel, you got a taller kid. <laughs> really? Yeah. Next year you'll probably be even taller than me. <laughs> I don't know. Ariel, can you so me? So me to hear the song in my glow when you fall over Wait, Carl, I didn't say anything like that. Ariel, we'll have a little talk later. <laughs> but, Fate? Wow, everyone looks really different in this album, don't they? Hey, look at this. This is the Admiral. He's so tiny. He was about the same age as Ariel in this picture, I think. Oh, wait a second, wasn't Chrono a year older or so? Really? But it makes me feel so nostalgic. Why is that? That's because you're the same inside. What do you mean by inside? I'm sorry, I thought you'd have a Chrono, but the head librarian you know is here. Oh, exactly five minutes early. <laughs> what a reliable bastard. I just shout to the reception room. I'll be right there. So why did you make me wait an hour then, even though you said, I'll be right there? Oh, just to piss you off. Besides, what were you doing? Look at my pictures. I got no interest in that. Won't you give me back those ferret photos, huh? What are you talking about? I'm the ferret, and I've got no interest in it neither! Well, I thought this since we've been up uh, tabs for a long time, it's time we actually made up something. I understand what you say about bluntness, but I can't agree with that last part. The only one I do is Amy, and I got no interest in other men. You're a nice guy, but I didn't mean make up that way. You're kidding, right? We met when we were nine, got to know each other, went separate ways, but when we met, we could laugh, talk and share good times and bad. Aren't those the makings of true childhood friendship? Well, when you put it in those words, it sounds pretty naive. And it was said something like that, actually. Really? Yeah. Then it did like the part of you best. Like Esther and Death? Obviously a lie! 
by the way, how's that little girl at Nano's place going? Oh, PVO. <laughs> you mean her? Is she going to the Infinite Library still? Yeah, she comes a lot. Recently, she's been bringing friends, too. A third year? Yes, she likes reading, but she seems to like looking through the library as well. They're really popular amongst the staff at the library, you know. Really? She's slowly become more and more like a mother in many ways. It's good and scary in equal proportions. Seriously, this is the only time I agree with you. Carl, how did you get so far behind? <laughs> you okay? I'm You're pretty bad at walking around big cities, huh? I'm really bad at crowds like this. It's because I'm short. You lose sight of me so easily. If you use the lighting style elevation techniques, you should do anything. I'm not going to the ground in my hand any time! That's star style, isn't it? Hold on. Yep. Was that an animal calling? Yeah, she says she brought some presents. She was going to give them to Terry and the others. Oh, she could have called me instead. Wait! What if this is the plan for some bastard who's following her can slip in and rip up our precious relationship? That's gotta be it. I'm about to save that one! Oh, no you don't. You know, Angela was always ranting that she was a good girl, wasn't she? Well, she has a good sense of duty and she worked hard. By the way, I heard seeing them is really spoiling her now. Really? I can't imagine that. Stupid. Here's the present that I bought. Let me see. <gasps> this, this is. What is it? Pony Billy Unicorn. Is that good? It's the only chap that's been shown on TV. <laughs> I think we saw it at Anna's place when we were last there. She did say that when she went up to the counter and said, Excuse me, can we get this? The shopkeeper nearly fainted. Wow, Nanawa is really famous, isn't he? So I want to get something without winning in the lane, just go with Nanawa! Wrong! <laughs> How's the lucky I'm rich with the white devil of the bureau? Really? Are we going along with the white devil nickname? <laughs> the shop assistants must have been pretty surprised. I'm happy! I love this milk pudding! Me too! You do too, don't you? Well, since the president from Manoa, I guess I could partake. Carl, stop saying these aren't true! That's right. We met Manoa for the first time. What impression did she make? Difficult. Like, what about the atmosphere? Well, the first thing I thought was she was a cute girl, and she's the type whose eyes are always looking forward. Oh, I can't remember! I can't remember what I thought of the girl I met on the first time! You don't have to try hard. That's what you two add now that's important. Nice holiday. We should take some pictures somewhere. As a Kennedy, where should we go? How about the lake in Artisan where we used to live? That's fine. If we go now, the scenery would be beautiful. Oh, I'm really looking forward to the two of us taking pictures together. After all, we need lots of photos of fellas at the wedding reception. You got to be ready here. I'm already up to the end with me. I need some photos from when I was young. Uh huh. Alright. Yeah. My baby takes the morning train, he works for